How's it going everyone? So in my other video, I did four things I did not like about the Leatherman Arc. I wanted to do things that I like about this tool. Uh, first thing is first is the sheath. That was a big surprise to me. I like that you can put, you know, bits if you want, like extension bits on each side. I like that there's a, a sheath um, that it came with, with the uh, bits, but you can actually store it here if you wanted to. And then you can put the multi-tool in like this and it just clips in. I think this uh, sheath, I don't really like sheaths, but I think this is pretty solid sheath and you can wear it if you wanted to with your belt. I like the uh, button too as well, but like I said, I don't really like sheaths, but I think this is one of the best sheaths uh, if you need a sheath. But that's one thing that I really like about the Leatherman Arc. The other thing I like about the Leatherman Arc is the uh, Magna Cut Steel. I, I find it fun just flicking it open, if you can. It's just really fun to flick open. Um, really nice multi-tool with the, uh, this is my first Magna Cut Steel. It's razor sharp. Let's see if I can get some. It's not going to pick up too well, but you can shave your, you know, hair pretty well with it. Um, feels really sharp. It's got same kind of like bench made the grinds on that, uh, but it's very, very um, fun to play with. I gotta say, like flicking it open. Um, it takes a while to get used to. You can see there, there we go. But you'll you'll get it eventually. Uh, the thumb stud's really nice too. I think that's cool to have on a all day tool. Never had that before. So very impressed with that. Um, the other thing that I really like about the Leatherman Arc is when you open it, you flick it open, and then when you, you know, engage it, none of the tools really pop out like the P4. The P4 would, you know, flip out some of the tools on the inside, and this really doesn't do that that much, which is nice. Um, I think Leatherman did a good job there. It did a little bit, tiny bit right there, but you can't even tell. So I think they did a really good job with that, with opening and closing. Um, it feels smoother as well, the action, uh, the magnet action and everything. I like that a lot. Another thing I like is the, um, I talked about what I didn't like about it, but I really like the, the tools on the inside as well. You got this bit driver, which I love from the uh, Leatherman, um, you know, charge series, the surge and the charge. I like that a lot. Um, you have also the uh, mini bit driver, which I find exceptional. Uh, this actually reaches further than the Surge in the, uh, you know, Charge series, which is awesome. I love that. Um, very useful tool for me because I'm in like, you know, with computers, I'm a nerd with that stuff. And you got a flat screwdriver on one side. You got a baby Phillips on the other. I typically use the baby Phillips the most. And um, I think this works really good to change like batteries and stuff. You can see it pretty well there. Um, but I think that's awesome. I like this, the, um, you know, the I think that's kind of cool. The flat screwdriver that they put on, they call it the pry bar because you can, I think in the pictures it shows that you can uh, open, you know, paint cans with it. You can see it's kind of tapered here. But I think it's kind of cool they put a, you know, a bottle opener with it. So it's like a combo. I think that's awesome. Um, the file, I really like as well. I'm glad they, you know, took out the uh, the dainty file on the Free Series. And they put this uh, diamond coat on one side that we love from the Charge Series. And the, uh, the Leatherman um, Weave. And they have a diamond coat at which you can sharpen knives with on the go. You got a file here and then you got a file here. Got a really different, it's kind of like the uh, saw, how it kind of just tapers down. Um, so that's nice. I love that you can, you know, this is just with the free series, but you can uh, access tools one handed. Each tool you can basically, you know, use one handed and access tools, no problem. Um, it's not too bad. So I think that's awesome. I really like the, uh, the locking mechanisms that you just pull back right here. There's tabs. You just pull back one and then 
you can just, you know, deploy or uh, lock and unlock. So it's really fun to do. Um, I think that's pretty awesome. I'm glad they put an awl on it, a pointy awl instead of that flat screwdriver awl. Just sad that it's small like that. It could have probably fit like a larger awl, but that's okay. It's there, and it has a wire stripper combo on it. So I like that. I like that the pocket clip, if you wanted to, you can put it here. So it's not just one location. I think that's awesome. You can just put it over here. Um, very cool. I like the color of it as well, too. Black and stainless steel. I think that looks pretty sweet. We'll see how it holds up in time, though. Um, hopefully it holds up pretty well. Um, but, yeah, these are just a few things that I really like about the Leatherman Arc. Um, I think it's pretty awesome. I think this holds, you know, when you open it, like I was showing you, like this, I think it holds the tools pretty well. That's why, like, this doesn't pop out because maybe that, that retention is holding it in. I'm not 100% sure. But it does feel really smooth in the hands. Uh, when you close it, it doesn't lock up like the uh, surge too. Surge would, or the wave would, would kind of, when you shut it, sometimes it gets stuck here. So that never happens with this. I like that about the free series. But yeah, so these are just a thing, things that I enjoy while using the Leatherman Arc so far. I think it's a great tool. Like I said, I'd probably give it an 8.5 out of 10 so far from, you know, the feel of it everything use of it um just how it it's uh you know how i use my tools uh i'd probably give it an 8.5 out of 10. it's not perfect for me yet um i i love my leatherman charge i think that's perfect but yeah so i'm having fun with it though it's one of the most fun multi-tools i've i've experienced though i gotta say all right, thanks guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. A like's much appreciative. Let me know uh, if you're gonna pick this one up or did you get it? Um, I know there's like only 50 or 60 that REI sold. Uh, some people are saying it's coming at the end of this month. I don't think so. I haven't heard any uh, anything saying, you know, uh, that it's coming or not, but I heard 1017 could be the date. Uh, maybe we'll do a live stream like I said, but we shall see. All right, thanks guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. A like's much appreciative. Uh, this may be my last um, video on the ARC comparison and stuff. I uh, just started getting kind of repetitive uh, with my other videos, but let me know if you want me to keep going with these. All right, thanks guys for watching. Take care.